What, 2024, you was best... Uh, AZ Foothills Magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of white people voted for me, so thank you for that. They have the internet. A lot of my family doesn't, but... Are you a size queen? Uh... Yeah. Are we talking about penis or height? No, height. Height. Height, I mean, I pretty much have talked to men that are taller, but not all of them. Oh, I'd do say you majority, like black yes. men? Yes. I can tell. How can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. Tell no, me you how just you have can tell, vibe. Eric. We want to talk about first date type of things. I'm not a dinner person. I will never take you to dinner. I'll never take you to Maple Nash. I will never take you to Ocean 44. I'll never take you to Toko Madera. I will never take you to any of these places on the first date. We will go. But if we skip all these steps in the first date and I'm doing anal, how am I going <laughs> to respect? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Your butthole's Toka Madera is basically what I'm saying. All right, so we got Eric, you know, you know, one of the best comedics <laughs> in Arizona. Not one of the comedics. Probably, what, 2024, you was the best. Uh, AZ Foothills Magazine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of white people voted for me. <laughs> so thank you for that. They have the internet. A lot of my family doesn't, but you know, we're working on it. It's all about the vote. You know, it's all every every culture has their advantages. Some <laughs> build tunnels. Which I feel like the Latinos were on that first, but then the Jewish people, you know, they came through. Look, hard work is hard work at the end of the day. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm gonna do a shit ton of laughing because the man, the man is funny. You know what I mean? I, and I, I'm I'm big on comedy, mm -hmm. and I it's hard for me to not laugh at a lot of things. So for sure, that oh, shit yeah. is just crazy. So how, how long? How long? You're not from Arizona, but how long you been? Been here, I, I came here in 2011 because I thought I got a, this girl pregnant, All right? right. <laughs> I'm not going to say her name. It rhymes with Biffany. But um, I came out here because I was over, like, these, like, masculine women in New York. You know, there's an old joke. Oh, so that, you moved from New York? From New York, yeah. Right, Sleepy right. Hollow, New York. Shout out to the Headless Horseman. One of the weirdest mascots you could ever have. People yeah. have, like, bears. They're tigers. We're this... Fic fictional character without a head in our like your one, high school that was the the headless horse which one which one best like I mean mascot nice. many times yeah, yeah. I didn't it, even know that was a I didn't even know yeah that was Ichabod a Crane Absolutely. Washington Irvin uh, is the writer and uh, yeah, he made the story this guy was like a German mercenary got his head cut off and his only thing that he could do was throw a pumpkin at you and if he misses well then see you next Halloween because that's only <laughs> when he comes up what a mascot yeah <laughs> for real it's crazy. <laughs> Crazy, yeah. Uh, I remember going to football games and the black horse would come out, a guy dressed in all black, big shoulders, right, cover his head, and then he'd just be headless walking yeah. around. That's nice. We thought it was normal. Yeah, I, I seen that like <laughs> Disneyland. Yeah, Johnny like... Depp was in the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah with yeah. Christina Ricci. That's dope. I didn't know that was like a place though. Like, oh, it's a real place, yeah, and a lot of people go there for like paranormal activity stuff. They oh, go over there looking for the dead, but I don't know if you know this, but people die everywhere, so they could right. probably go anywhere. But yeah. there is a lot of stuff there. I did see my friend disappear into the forest for about a half hour, and he said he went to like a different dimension, went to the 15th century, came back. Shout out to Gregory. I think he's an attorney now. I don't know if that's going to hurt or help him, but he disappeared. <laughs> I, I saw it with my own eyes. Two, they were like old-fashioned clothes, like yeah, glowing yeah. like in a blue, kind of yeah. like that, like a blue, uh -huh. but like just light, just like, imagine that, just like a light bulb, just glowing. Yeah, yeah. And he just like, he ran after it, and I thought, he's kidding. And then he left, he said, when I got over there, it was daytime. It was night, because we did we did a haunted hayride. This is how messed up my town is. Yeah, yeah. We did a haunted hayride, and yeah. they would have kids hide in the cemetery to scare people. Not knowing how disrespectful that may be. Very, yeah. but this, yeah. this cemetery is also huge. There's pe there, I mean, the town was founded like in 1619. So Damn, it's, a very, yeah, it's the village of Sleepy Hollow. It was known as a village, not even a town. So um, Halloween must be jumping out there. Yeah, uh, the funny enough, that was the first time I ever fingered a girl was at the haunted hayride in a cemetery. Um, Damn, core memory, huh? She's also deceased. I found out. Oh my god, which gosh. is crazy. Yeah, because I so mentioned it. And she just passed. No, I guess it was like a long time ago. Oh, okay, but okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. You look, you can't control that. There's still a yeah. memory that I have. I, I think that was. I think I saw her that one time. And I saw her next year for the for it again. And she had acne, and then I made fun of her. And she goes, "It's called maturity." And then next year, I had the worst case of acne in my life. Oh, so yeah. I think I'm karma. karma. Hex, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We all, yeah, karma, big time. <laughs> a lot of things don't make sense. My mom used to make me play basketball because she thought it'd make me taller. 
And I was like, no, <laughs> just the people that play are tall. Yeah. But I was pretty good, actually, for, All for five foot seven, three quarters, what the doctor said. Okay. I was trying to go for the five eight, but it still says it on my driver's license. Yeah. Mm. I'm still going to go with them. Yeah. Because no one's five nine. Do you, do you tell your real height? Women. I tell girls literally sometimes I'm five six. See what mm. they say. I mean, but I like that because if you if you lowball yourself, hundred percent, hundred percent plus five six, five seven. Who are you impressing at that point? You know, yeah. five eight is when a girl take out a ruler and be like, let's let's put this to the test. You know, <laughs> I mean, I feel like they take out a ruler regardless. They're regard and that's good for them. You know, the size do matter. Are you a size queen? Uh, yeah. I no, feel don't like know. Oh, I've, yeah. She, bro, she like six, first, seven and fir up. First thing on top of your head, size queen? Yes. I can answer no. every question. Yes. Are we talking about penis or height? No, height. 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 I mean, I pretty much have talked to men that are taller, but not all of them. Oh, do you majority, like black yes. men? Yes. I could tell. How can you tell? Yeah, I could tell. Tell no, me you how just you have can tell, vibe. Eric. That's my vibe. Isn't it spot on? No, but here's the thing. It is spot on. I, I do I'm just think, curious. How... I do think women who date more. I think you have like a really cool look that black guys like. Yeah, oh. But I do think it's very easy for you to tell if if a woman likes black men or not. Now, obviously, you what have What are those... the tell telltale signs? No, I mean, it just, it's, oh, yeah. it's like it's it's hard to explain it, but at the same time, like you'll look at somebody like, oh, I think she'll. She, I, I yeah, like, yeah. I can look at someone and be like, oh, she doesn't really. Like judge. she wears she wears Jordans, oh. and then like the <laughs> other girl works at like Abercrombie. Like mm -hmm. she may, she may still be down, but yeah. she wants like the Disney black guy. You know? Disney black what's guy. The Disney black what's guy? I never heard of that. You know, like Carlton from Fresh Prince. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Like okay. the Disney black. The Carlton. Okay, okay. But yeah, say. I think I think certain people. I think everybody gives like a like a, a vibe. vibe. You know oh I mean? yeah, that's the best thing about me because no one's like dreaming about like this chunky five foot seven guy, right? So when I get into their life, they always go, "You're not my type." I'm like, "No shit," and but it, I, to me, it's a win. Yeah. Always, because I'm like, you think this is your type. I'm about to prove you wrong. I'm about to, <laughs> Do you like I'm about the to challenge? change your life. Not even a challenge. I don't really like go aggressively hard on a girl like that. I like kind of just befriend a lot of people. Yeah. I think that's the best way. Because honestly, you know, being in the mix of entertainment, being in Scottsdale, mm -hmm. you you go, you get numb from beauty. Like I, that doesn't impress me. Like you feel like they need to bring more than just looks. Oh, uh, absolutely! What? Yeah. Absolutely! No, I, mean, I, I would agree with that because there's there's a lot of beautiful people, a lot of beautiful women in Scott's, in Arizona. Yeah, so you get numb. It's like everyone's like that. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Everyone's every like that's not looking. gonna blow me away. Yeah. Are you cool? Are yeah, we personality? Yeah. Are you gonna like? Can you hold a conversation? Are you gonna put a knife in my wall? Are you? <laughs> this has happened, you know. And are you gonna break into my house, steal mm. my laptop? Yeah. Which do you like crazy girls? Too. Are you attracted no, to crazy? No, 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 no. I'm I was over that um I think when I moved here, when I thought I gotta go pregnant. Yeah. So I thought so I you gotta, moved here for that. Yeah, because I'm a stand up guy. I was in college, I was studying history education, I wanted to be a teacher and this is what I do now. But um yeah, I thought she was pregnant. No, I thought it was my kid. That was the thing. She already gave birth, you thought I was a kid. No, even oh, no. worse and better than that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I make this 38-hour drive from New York to Arizona. 30 hours in, her cousin calls me and says, hey, I lost the baby. Uh, mm -hmm. That she lost the baby. Oh, my God, sad, sad, sad. I go, do I turn back? Because, like, I, I hope, I probably have time. Like, there's no need for me now. Yeah. I was there for the kid, and that's it. So she's like, no, I need you more now than ever, blah, blah, blah. I try to, you know, she was a really beautiful girl. And see, that's the thing. That doesn't mean anything, right? She uh, choked out one of her friends because she was like, she thought she was flirting with me. And then uh, she had an alcohol problem. She would like drink. Like she would have a Jack Daniels and Coke by the bedside. Oh. So, and she was like a tiny thing. Coke. She was like 5'8". She was taller than me. She mm. was like, you know, nice looking girl from the outside. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean? Um, but a year later, she reached out to me and said, I've been going through therapy and I need to, you know, come clean about some things and that was actually never your kid it's that you were a kid going to college the other guy was facing three to five years on heroin charges yeah. so i was the better choice right which then it's you know because i i haven't joked about it on stage yet but it goes like do you you know that whole premise of believe all women you know it's like she could have screwed me yeah mm -hmm. she could have the whole time right and my and my family yeah. a lot of my family like half of my family is in medical half of my family does teaching and then like most of my uncles are like entrepreneurs so my aunts who work in the hospital, nurses, one of my cousins is a PA, physician's assistant in Manhattan, you know, they were like, that happens more often than you think. Uh, yeah, 100%. I've seen, even on like TikTok, you know, people like, 
oh, I need to tell you a story. Or, and story they, oh, you ever see the story guy time. give the girl a gift and she opens it up and it's a DNA test that's not his daughter? Oh, shit. No, I haven't that's seen that. That's a great video. Oh, I mean, I've never God. seen that. Oh, She's I like, think... why are you going to do this to me on yeah. my birthday? I think it was her birthday. That or, was... like, or like married like couples. and That's like, messed up. The kid's like older and then they find out. Like I feel like they need to make it mandatory to get the DNA test when the kid's born if you're married, too. But here's the thing. A lot now, of married couples don't. Yeah, but I think the, the problem with that is if, if once you push that 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 yeah. narrative everybody's gonna already start second guessing oh, so you know what I mean? yeah. so ready for this my aunt one of my aunts <clears throat> work in white plains hospital where dmx actually passed away and she tended to him um he she R. said rip dmx, mm -hmm. DMX yonkers westchester legend um she said when a guy asks for a paternity test, the more the girl freaks out, the more likely that's not his kid. Yeah. yeah. But the problem with that is, like, say I have my girl or my wife who's pregnant, right? And I, <clears throat> I ask for a paternity test, right? And she's, it's, it's just like, she's not freaking out, but she was like, why? You know what I mean? Like, you think it's not your child? Like, yeah, I no. get it. I That's get where it. it's like... I get it. Like, a, oh, you don't a, trust me. But at the same time, like, mm, what's the problem? Yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't and be that, an issue. My aunt said all the women who were like, yeah. Get it? Let's confirm. Yeah, Let's do who everything. cares? Yeah. Like, if, if yeah. it's not a big deal, you know, she's like, yeah, True. this guy. Yeah. This I hope that I like don't you. have to do, like, I, that's not even, shouldn't be a thought in my yeah. head. But if it even crosses my mind, I'm going to do it. Here's also the the necessary to understand. People are having sex with more, multiple people than ever before. They're, right. you know, I talked about, you know, on my podcast about the back pocket boyfriend, about 70% of women say that they have someone on standby ready to go or already even talking to you know Same. for the ones that they that they ask right it doesn't mm -hmm. speak for all women it's just for the right. the certain amount of people that they ask 70 percent is a lot yeah that, that that's, is a lot. that's a lot 70 percent, but it's also it's not like i don't believe it i mean it's 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 more true than ever though yeah i think there's more options than ever everyone thinks they have more you have more access to people yeah, through and, social media and for the, sure and the rough thing you know because a lot of my homegirls who have a hard time finding men it's because of their availability the mm -hmm. the availability that they give themselves to access all these men they think i love it when a girl goes i used to date an nba player i used to date an nfl player no you used to have sex with them and they used you and you're not living in their house you're not you didn't date anyone right if you had sex nothing wrong with that go ahead and have fun but there is a thing in their mind. It's like when a guy who has a lot of money and he's paying for everything mm -hmm. and, and like almost like a, a crazy, like almost, and you have sex where he's like, yeah, it's because she likes me. No, it's because of your money, dude. Like there's this fair exchange. And, and it goes to show you like who is more shallow? Mm -hmm. Are we more shallow for using our money because she's good looking or is she more shallow, you know, for using her, her looks for money? I mean, we're both. We're, we're both kind of, you know, but we just leverage different things. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. A lot of women think they, they have all these options, and they don't. These are options to be used. And I don't like that. Because yeah. I here's the thing. I have sisters. I have everything. And I know a lot of guys say that stuff. But I also have, like, good homegirls that get used. Yeah. And it's for sure. by yeah, 100%. losers. Yeah, 100%. It's, all, it's always the, the guy they who take, don't got a car. They take who, kindness yeah. for Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They live with their mom because they helping her out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. And that's just like and socks don't match. Everything's a mess. They got one pillow. But it's the whole thing. It's crazy. They'll go. They'll go above and beyond for the yeah. ones that ain't got shit. Be like this one right here was picking motherfuckers up and taking them to work. You want to know why? Because there is that's some, crazy. There that was, is something uh, ten about years a, ago. There's something about that oh, was four. Look, a woman, <laughs> a woman, and also men suffer from this called savior complex, mm -hmm. where you want to save someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where you want to be right. there for them. Where you want. Well, I feel like a lot of us, I feel like I've I've been that like. I, I did it someone who was always out in Scottsdale like 10 years ago. You probably know him. Probably. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like the typical, like, just lives off girl to girl, like, uses girl yeah, to girl. Yeah, oh, I, pro I, I, I probably know who you're talking 100%. about. 100%. I don't know. Just kidding. I don't know. If you, probably. You probably would. Yeah, shout but, out to um, you. I feel like that's a common thing, don't you think, in Scottsdale specifically? I think. Do you see more, like, women so live I, off men or men off women in Scottsdale? Uh, women live off men more, really? definitely. Yeah. Okay. But, but. The ones that are showcased, the ones that are brought to light, is when women experience it because they'll scream yeah. out the loudest, oh. and they're, they're the and I get it. It's because that's not nature either to take yeah. care of the men. I mean, yeah. say what you want. It's uh, not what we were. It, it's, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's not. To be men there's a men provide, provide, there's yeah. a reason why things don't feel right. Yeah, you know yeah. when you do it. So like when like, um, you know, you said you took care of this guy, whatever. Right. And you know, we often talk about a Scottsdale dude. Right. Yeah. This is guy. 
Let me tell you something. The reason why most girls talk like that because they're rotating the same 15 guys. <laughs> it's, right. it's a very low percentage of men that have access to many women. No. You know? Now, given personality, status, you'll get a little bit more. I found out the yeah. average dude has sex with five and a half girls. Not the two mile horn. That was over by high school. But I had personality. Also was a little bit slimmer. Yeah. Also a lied lot. a lot. Yeah. Right? You ever hear that that whole thing? Like what'd you lie about? Like uh, everything. Them? Whatever I could. I was a liar. 18, 19, that's all I all I had was that. I didn't have money. Yeah. Cur lying was my currency. So like men, what does it say? That women fall in love with what they hear, men fall in love with what they see. That's why all men mm -hmm. lie and all women wear makeup, right? So that's that's that whole line. And guess what? It's true. Stereotypes don't fall from the sky. You mm -hmm. know, these things are real true. That's why I challenge these women. If you, and this is the crazy thing sometimes, I think, as a guy looking onto women, they'll like know that this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> they'll go into kind of knowing this is not good. Yeah. yeah. But it's good for the optics. We do yeah. it for it the looks plot. good. It do looks it for the plot. And that's just, a, I hate my friend Tyler who says it all the time. I do it for the plot. I'm like, you're ruining your life. Yeah. Right. Like you're, you're setting yourself up. This for could failure. be a love story. This could yeah. be Taylor Swift love story. Now it's turning to M Night Shyamalan. You don't know what's happening. The, there is no climax. What did the movie mean? M. You know. Shyamalan. You know, like and that's what it really turns to. So, that's my suggestion yeah. for a lot of women that it's you're rotating the same guy. Like, mm. you know, how many times do people say like, "Oh, you're dating the same dude just with a different name." Yeah. And you 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 see that though as a trend, like mm -hmm. like like some of my homegirls, you know I'll, I'll see her like, yo you, you you left one dude, you know but you're in the same situation. Same again. situation every yeah, time. Yeah, like we yeah. know somebody. I'm not gonna say yeah. the name, but she, she just oh my god, she just rotates to the same person in a sense. You know what she I mean? does the same thing. And, and doesn't when you learn try to lesson. tell them something, doesn't learn a lesson. And when you try to give them tough love. Yeah. You know, some people love love living in their hell and love complaining mm. about love it. Love chaos. You know, I, I just wrote this tweet I'm about to post right after this was, uh, you know, if you've, if you've broken up with your person publicly on social media more than once, I'm over it. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to hear this whole saga. Like when you say break up, like you post like- hey, Like, yo, post it's over together. just so you know the me and this person are yeah, no longer we're together. Done. We're done. This person's crazy. And then- when I see women air out men, I go, that's not the woman I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When right. they go, like, because then nothing is sacred. Yeah. You mean, like, you mean like yeah. air them out and then they go back I and then up, they air them out? I've broken up with girls and all you see is just less pictures of her until there's no pictures right. of her. You only I never want to speak bad on her because that's right. an immature thing to do. Yeah. yeah. I want. Because if you were with them. Yeah. Like, come here's, on. Yeah. Here's the thing. We all make mistakes and anything yeah. done in anger ends in shame, right? So the reason why everyone's trying to fuck everyone, and I get it, I was there. Dude, there was a time. So in 2019, I weighed 160 pounds. I was boxing. I had a nice four-pack, and I was fucking nonstop. It was incredible. I would be in the middle of these, this girl's legs and be like, are you for real? Is this going to happen? It's like, yeah, it's happening. And I'm like, okay, let's go. You know, I just want to make sure I had thing recording. And uh, <laughs> All right, no, camera, but camera ready. Draw you know, up. just ready. I was filming. I look back on sex things that I have on myself, and I go, not even for her. I'm like, look at me. I used to look so good. I was like, and she, I'll show you guys. I'll blur out the other stuff. <laughs> you know, we can put it up right here. Um, no, but join his OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Them. I was, you know, I thought about that, but then like, you know, you need consent and shit to yeah. like post. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. it's uh, what's it? Uh, revenge, revenge porn, porn. Yeah. yeah. And that's not good. Don't go. Don't get in trouble. That's that. not good. You shouldn't do that. You should no. also like. You know what I never got from guys here? And it's not all guys. It's just a few what? that love showing their girl naked to other guys. Yes. Yeah. That's wild to me. Why are you just... Yeah. Now, if a You're girl... You're looking for the validation of other men. If a men. random girl send me a nude, I'm going to be like, yo, look at this crazy right. shit. Yeah. But your girl... But his girl... Your yeah. girl. My girl. Like, now no. I know... Why are you I know her shit? inside and out now. <laughs> yeah. Literally. No, you're right. Facts. That's supposed to be something I know everything. Sacred. There is no secret to her anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The coolest thing about a girl is secrets like i used to like um i used to date a girl that didn't wear too much makeup right mm -hmm. she was kind of one of these gifted people that just like she was black and mexican right just like just gifted complexion just never really wore makeup you know and then she'd wear uh you know she'd wear a little bit but i remember she wanted to post a, a picture of herself with just no makeup bare and she still looked kind of like the same but i was like no like i want that for me 
Yeah. I don't need everybody really? seeing how you look like with a dot here and this is right before <laughs> nighttime, your hair and whatever. You know, like there are certain things that should be preserved for the person you're with. Like Whitney Cummings was talking about like, you know, I can't give my virginity to a dude, but there's certain movies that are so big I've never seen. I'm saving those to watch with a guy. Like she's like, I've never mm -hmm. seen The Godfather. I've never oh, so seen she this. wants to watch that with You know, she she was so like to share those experiences. Yeah. I mean, experiences. is there I mean, think about it. Is there anything worse than when you take a girl out to eat and she goes, Have you been here before? Mm. And you go, Yeah. yeah I take and all it kinda like here. turns off the whole thing. And then the whole old meme is this is where you take yeah. your bitches, you know? Yeah. So look, preserve something. Something. The reality is you can't preserve everything, right. but pre something for the dude, something for him. I think that's nice. If you know, that's it. Me, I'm not even really. Fo I've been sober since October second. Wow. No drugs, no cocaine, no alcohol. Was that your thing? Cocaine yeah, I was doing coke off of girls' buttholes, like the vagina, Jeez. boobs. I mean, this is I can speak it now. You know, this is my testimony. Right. And I'm here to tell my story and. There was cool things from that I can't I can't pretend like it wasn't cool. I have a joke about cocaine about like you know what you don't like cocaine so cool. No other drug makes a girl's willingness to take her titty out. <laughs> there is there you nobody's like yo let me blow weed into your nipple. No, it's like let me do a bump off your tits. <laughs> there's something I don't know what it is, something man. About it. Something about that white girl on top of a brown or a white girl. Like there is something <laughs> that comes with it that and it yo Coke is literally Adderall. Just they say like cocaine was made by a bum, and then a scientist goes, "Let me fix this." <laughs> they made Adderall, right? <laughs> it's an old joke, but it's it's that man. Yeah. And it was, but here's what happens when you push your serotonin to the limit. Mm -hmm. Um, you come down. Yeah, and right. you you get depressed. You're like, why am I so sad? Why am I contemplating life? I'm like, where's the? I don't have a family. You know, you yeah. start thinking all these things. It's because you're. The reason why people get depressed because there's so much so much separation between your high and low. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is, and I think that's what people are always chasing. And I think when you subtract the high. substances, not all together. Look, I might drink in the future. Yeah. Not saying I won't drink. I'm doing it for my health. I've dropped 50 pounds. Otherwise, I would never do this podcast because I was fat as shit. I was a fat fuck. <laughs> And um, oh that's okay. Here's the thing: like guys are more brutal with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always, I like, to, like I, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like women, it's like, oh, you look good. You would however. never, a woman would never tell another girl, like, bro, you, you don't gain weight, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you need to get right. So all my guy friends are like super good looking, right? Yeah. I have a joke where I'm like, you know, they were the reason why I lost weight, and then, you know, what do you think <laughs> they said to me? And they're like, oh, you know, it's unhealthy, blah blah. I'm like, no, they were like. You're fucking up the aesthetics of the crew, dude. Like, yeah. we all look good. You were short as it was. Now you're getting fat, too. Yeah. No girl likes a fire hydrant, you yeah. know? So these are the things, man. And also just health is wealth. Your mind works better. Look, mm -hmm. I had four and a half hours of sleep. I have all the energy in the world right now. Yeah. I went yeah. to the gym already. Wow. You know, I had my little meal prep. Also had a chocolate donut. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Balance. These balance, like, but I'm also not... If you knew the amount of drinks I would have in a night, it would blow you, your fucking mind. What do you mind. think? I mean, in one I, night? I haven't seen it. One night? I mean, there was a time I was awake for five days, and my feet had blisters on them. Just These are crazy drinking things. Drinking and doing coke? Drinking cocaine. This girl, this girl would throw $300 at me, and she's like, go buy more. I'm like, what? It's just dealing with people with I infinite mm. amount of resources, right? Mm. So you keep chasing the high. And here's the thing about coke. It's crazy. It's like... You're not gonna get anywhere unless you have Viagra too, because it makes it makes you impotent. You're not gonna really? get it up, you know. Oh, so it does the reverse of what you need to do. Then I found out that drinking alcohol promotes estrogen in, in a man. I was like, oh, that's why I got these titties. But I'm getting rid of them, or I'm getting them fixed. I haven't spoken to a doctor yet, but <laughs> that's what led clarity, and I've seen it. Yeah. I told you before we started. The pod had like 18 subscribers. We're yeah. now closing in. We're going to close in at 400, 500, hopefully before summertime. Nice. Which is nice, right? We all, anyone who does YouTube understands how hard yeah. getting subs is. For it's sure. a, You could be For the most sure. popular person. I know a girl who has 300,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah. Uh -huh. 48 subs. Yeah. yeah. YouTube's it's, it's, hard. It's not, it's YouTube's not an easy thing at all. I tell, right. I tell people, they're like, Dan, you only got 100? No. I'm like, go do it. It's so yeah. different. Tell me if you get your mom to subscribe. She won't even do it. Right. Yeah. You Don't click I mean? on it, watch the video, leave. Subscriptions on your YouTube is like 
Netflix and Hulu and deciding whether you really want it or not. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, ah, is it worth? Nah, I don't want to be reminded yeah. of this. Yeah, every time I go on YouTube, it pops up. Yeah, yeah. So you got to really like it. Really like, fuck I with it. I follow a lot of pods, history things. Yeah. There's a, thing, a guy called Bright Insight who kind of led the whole thing of the reason the the city of Atlantis is actually in Africa. And he, I, 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 yeah, I've seen he's that. from yeah. Gilbert, Arizona. Wow. Yeah, he's yeah. he's been on Rogan like three times. Damn. But uh, he's also, yeah, and just following things that they yeah. wrote. In and like I think I think that's stuff. how, like, you brought up Seth Rogen's show. I don't know, like, I, I didn't really watch Seth Rogen's show. Seth Rogen? Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan. I said Seth Rogen. Yeah. Shout out Seth Rogen, though. <laughs> uh, but Joe Rogan's show, and... I, I was like, uh, I ain't really been a, a fan of Joe, but let me watch it. And I got sucked in because his his content was just very different all the time. Like, he would have an episode like this. Then he would have an episode like, also, you know, Area 50. Area 50 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he'll, yeah he'll, talk about it a bunch. A, a land, like but I feel like when you get to a certain point and you have that amount of following, you can really talk about true, anything. True, but I think you it know? was the... I, I think what sucks people in in terms of like all different people, the, he hits so many different niches. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and he only gets people that he's interested in. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And he has a valid. You can't talk to someone for three hours if you're not interested right. in what they're saying. That's, and when I saw how long they were talking, I was just three like, hours. That's nice. And the, Four hours. The only person who I've seen that done that now that's doing well is like Shannon Sharp right now on his podcast. Mm -hmm. His his. You know, it goes two hours plus. Yeah, yeah. and which is a, it, it? That is the Rogan way, though. Yeah, you know that is the and way it was. That, to me, I'm so like you can talk about so many three things. hours. Yeah, but then seeing like the interview, and they're not really interviews, but like having Combos, a conversation. Chill. Yeah, yeah. Conversation. like the Cat Williams one. I watched that from start to finish. <laughs> oh, same. And I've never watched it. Was anything. great. Right. I was just like, I feel like it was one of the most. Watched. It made you a better, a bigger fan. Yeah. Then uh, for both uh, of Cat Williams, yeah, uh, Shannon Sharp. Some people didn't know Shannon Sharp. Some people didn't know Cat Williams. You know. People are tuning in. Some people are sports fans. Some people are comedy fans. Right. You know, and that's why I, you got to do now as a comic, you have to have a podcast because it's mm -hmm. not enough that you're funny. People kind of want to know who you are. Right. Yeah. And they want to know if that's your thing. And honestly, that's better for me. Yeah. I think I'm better in conversation, comedy too. But also, if you know me, you'll get to know why I'm talking about what I talk about, yeah. why, oh man, he did mention that girl, uh, the girl who <laughs> faked the pregnancy, well, didn't fake the pregnancy, faked the, the legitimacy of his paternity. Yeah. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you know, so they'll be like more into it. Yeah. They're more invested, right? That's why reality shows took over the 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 whole television yeah, series. Like Love is Blind is sucking everyone in. Oh like, my God. like Love is Blind, Love on a Spectrum. They Love literally, Island I've never just... seen Love, Love on a Spectrum. Because it I sounds seen, crazy. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. I've seen it. But so it, it's... It, you, autistic people. Dating. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I heard that's a good show, though. No, I heard it's a great show. Yeah. Shane Gillis has a really good joke about it. About how good, He's like, you got to be crazy to be the one and be like, yo, why don't we get these guys <laughs> Yeah, today But it seems and authentic it. and genuine, though. It to is. the it point is. where, like, it you is. watch it... Like, when you see it, like, why would they... But then you watch it, and, like, I'm happy they did this. There is something about... Because now you know so much about Leonardo DiCaprio. When you see him, you it's fading away his... He's mm -hmm. still the, a huge movie star right. or whatever. But knowing that person and then pretending to be someone else is weird now sometimes. When yeah. you see someone, mm -hmm. when you got to know them so well, and then you're like, oh, that's I don't I don't believe it anymore. That's why reality shows did so well. Like Jersey Shore is still oh, the yeah. highest right. rated yeah, MTV show of all time. Yeah. Do you think there's a there's a reason why they're 40 something years old and they still party and people <laughs> and are watching like, oh, we grew up with them? Yeah. Cause we did. I, I yeah. grew up with Jersey Shore. Yo, yeah. yo Jersey Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up with watching them working at the little t-shirt shop. You dirty little hamster. <laughs> yeah. It's, yo, it's crazy. You can get your ass beat, or you can go ahead and get That's your ass beat. You can go ahead and get your ass beat. Yo, grenade was that's, fire. That, I think that's tan the, laundry. Yeah, I, I think that was the like one of the first things that people were like, "Oh, she's a grenade." And I was you just know? like, "Where, where?" It, looking she's back, a, I was just like, "Where did that I get is that?" Hilarious. Because it's it's the craziest thing, but you know, it it was a a big thing of us growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and like, then like cool. seeing guys like Paulie D call a girl a stalker. Yeah, just the way he said it. You're stalking me. <laughs> you stalk. I told you to give you a call. You call me nonstop. I had to take the phone off the. The way he. And I met Paulie D while he was out here. He's really he's really nice guy. He's the oldest out of all of them, I think. Mm. Yeah, but he looks the. I think he looks the youngest. He looks great. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Well, Ron, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie is in good shape. Ronnie's good. Vinny's in good shape. I saw too. Ronnie at a house party here. <laughs> For real? 
Yeah, he was just out there, just. You know? Yeah, Vinny. Vinny lives in New York. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I follow Vinny on, on yeah on on TikTok, and I'd be like, Vinny got his little fitness lifestyle now. Oh yeah, he's he's killing it. Yeah. I mean, like, and I find it dope. Like, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not like a huge Jersey Shore fan, but I am. But like, it's I still find interest to see over oh, that now or oh, what they doing. Yeah. You know, it just it yeah, sucks it, it, you it, in. it's it's even by default. Like, you'll feel it on some level. Everyone does. Just kind of like hip hop. Yeah. Like even if you don't like to me, if you're older head and the music doesn't make sense to you, you still feel it. There's like this really cool Paul Verzi joke. He goes like, um, he's like, my dad's Italian. He's not racist, but he don't like hip hop. And I came in, you know, from New York and I came from hip hop. He don't like it. And the way he talks about it makes him sound racist. Yeah. But then I saw him one day watching TV, watching hip hop videos. Back to back to back to back, and I just watched him. I go, "Hey, what happened? You, I thought you don't like this stuff." He goes, "Look, I don't like the shit they say, but uh, these kids know their jewelry, <laughs> you know, because Italians." Eddie Murphy used to always make that reference how Italian black people are so alike. They're like, hey, my dick, you know, like they yeah. chains, gaudy, uh, kind of like man of the household. Like very macho yeah. type of people, mm -hmm. even the way they walk, like they strut, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. like he, Eddie Murphy would always make those references. And in New York, it's so prevalent, like mm -hmm. big time, big time, big time. Like, and it's different because that's another thing. When I moved here, that's something I realized super different. Like over here, um, there's like a black club and there's like, if you want to go see Spanish stuff, you got to go over there. Yeah. In New York, like, black and Spanish people are one and the same. Yeah, 100%. It's, it, it, Arizona's the only place where I feel like it's, like it's a lot of segregation. It's, like, one in the same. Like, yeah. this, like I grew up in a, in a project building, and right across the street was another project building. Don't get me wrong. Our project building was, like, 80% Spanish, 20% black. That one was 80% black, 20% Spanish. Yeah. And we all played for the same football teams. We all played for the same yeah. basketball teams. You know what I mean? It was That was the big difference because like when I had a, you know, the girl I was dating, it was a black girl and I got definitely some looks like, what are you doing? And even to her, like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I remember she was like, your girlfriend's white. What the fuck do you care? And he's like, yeah, I just don't like it when uh, I see that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now that guy doesn't speak for everyone, but I see it more here than anything. I mm -hmm. talk to other people who are from the East Coast, Boston, New York, Jersey, whatever. Yeah. And they go, yeah, that is a little different here. Like, if you go to a club in New York, they're playing Top 40, they're playing Jamaican music, they're playing salsa, bachata. Same, same, same in Boston, too. Same yeah, thing. oh, yeah, I, I partied yeah. in Boston. Yeah, I, I, I got a lot of family in Boston. We I went love to a Boston. club, and I hear, you know, Jamaican music, yeah. you know, soca music, reggaeton, you know, burn But it's just like in a mixture of stuff, and you're just like... And, no matter what the race, the pe everybody just Every live. The, the Chinese time. people speak Spanish in New York. They go, Papa Frita? Tu que Papa Frita? Uh, pollo? Un pollo? And, and it's they crazy. talk like that. Yeah. Yo, they know. Even my tutor for Spanish was a black girl. Hmm. She just she just took Damn. a liking to it when she was really younger. And my mom was really working two jobs, single, five kids. You know, so I was like a Jono Sabo kid for a yeah. long time. And then... I remember she was she was tutoring me. And my mom was like, "You should be ashamed of yourself, yo. <laughs> you should be ashamed." My mom's first friend in New York was a Jamaican lady named Hillary. That was my auntie Hillary. Yeah. My mom was learning English from her, yeah. and then Hillary would be like, "Oh different. my god!" My mom sounded like Drake for a second when the <laughs> she was like pasta ting right there. You know, like she would say stuff like that. And Hillary would be like, "No, Nelly, no, no, don't talk like that. You're learning wrong." And uh, and I would go to her barbecues. And I would go to her stuff. And then there'd be a bunch of Jamaican people going, who is this kid? Like, yeah. little kid. I'm like, uh, that's my aunt. They go, that's not your aunt. Yeah. And I'm like confused. And he goes, no, that's my boy. That's, don't you see we look alike, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I'm confused. I'm six. <laughs> yeah. But that was the difference in New York. You know, I, have a, I had a friend named Prime Shiva Siba Nan and Dam. You know, like, I worked with people all over the place. And I think that's the good thing about New York. Mm -hmm. And then there's some there's, bad there's, things yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. But I tell people if you want a culture shock, if you yeah. if you want a diversity to the most highest right. in terms of food, people, music, all of it, you you need to move to New York For City. Sure. Yeah, you think black and Jewish is rare because of Drake? It's all over. New no, York. it's 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 the craziest thing. You'll see the there's Puerto Rican Italians all over the place. All it, over. it is West Side Story. All over. all over the place. And don't get me wrong, New York is a, is a different cup of tea. But like I think yeah. for me, one of my next goals for, for me is I would like to live in New York. Yeah, I, I've never lived in New York. I think I you, ever, you should try it. See it if you like I mean, it. it's not. It's 
It's crazy out there. You yes. know, I speak a lot of bad shit about the women in New York. It's because mostly because they're horrible. But <laughs> it's it's not that. It's almost not their fault. Because my sisters are educated. Yeah. And they talk like people like sanitation. Yeah. The yo like I go back and I go, how do you talk? You have a you went to school, you know, and and I see the, how aggressive they are sometimes. Mm -hmm. The environment is aggressive. Yeah. At 12 years old, you're walking everywhere. Yeah. At 12 years old, my sisters are getting hit on by grown men. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it crazy. develops a kind of this skin, which sucks because it hardens a woman and it doesn't let her be soft. Right. Yeah. You know, it took my sisters a long time to be soft to their man now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even them, I was like, damn, you deal with this woman? Like, yeah. they're like, that's your sister. I'm like, yeah, she's yeah. horrible. New York women are top tier when it comes to. Like oh, very strong, it? independent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I don't like aggression. I don't no. want her. I don't. If I'm with a girl, I don't want you to feel you gotta be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like let me take that. You be. You do. I want you to be whatever you want. You wanna. You wanna do a garden? Well, we'll go to Home Depot. Like whatever. Yeah. My cousins are there. <laughs> yeah. You know? I didn't think I liked that. And then I, I talked to a girl that's from New York. I talked to uh, numerous girls from New York. But I talked to this one girl from New York, and she was very ag aggressive, right? And like the way she spoke was oh like my very God. aggressive, very Cardi and B. It, and uh, not, but you know that that tone. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Every girl over there got like, like a raspy voice. Like they all like, like smoke cigarettes. Like in a situation, like say a girl wanted to, a guy wanted to fight her, and she'd be like, "No, nah, no, nah, I got it." You know what I mean? Like whole my type shit. You Crazy. Know? And at first, I was like, I, "I, I don't know if this is for me." <laughs> And then, as we kept talking, I was like, "This is definitely for me." I don't so you know. like that? I, so you I, want aggressive? You want I like scrap. that, really? I, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you like the challenge. No, but it, I don't think that long term the, works. Yeah. But at the same time, I think it does once you because you'll you'll soften her after yes, a while. But that's what I mean. It you ultimately, to, yeah, it takes time. But I think that's why it works for me is because mm -hmm. I like a. It takes. I need more time. I need. I need a. I need like a wall that I need a breakthrough. Right. He mm. likes the chase. And for, for sure. me, New York women work. And even though they get to the Do point where they all where think they you're just, Dominican or something? No, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Bobby, you're Dominican? No, I'm Trini. I'm not Dominican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a difference. <laughs> but yeah, I get I get Dominican, Puerto Rican. Because that's how they look over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, they look like you. No, 100%. Because I was just in the DR and I, I met this guy and he was like, oh, you speak Spanish? Or he just started speaking to me. You like, play nah, baseball? Bro. <laughs> yeah. bro, you're like, oh, M -O -M -O -B. M -O -B. I was Big like, poppy? <laughs> I was like, like nah, I don't, I don't, nah, bro, I don't, I don't play no baseball. You know what I mean? But you know, I wish, you know what I mean? But yeah. they're out there. The women are are different, but I like it. And then just like how you said, the Italian people, out there, listen, it might be very, at first, like aggressive, but some of the most loving, kind. No, definitely. What, once they get to, it's like, yeah. Once, yeah, once, you, break once, you, once down, you break that wall. Yeah. I remember I brought a girl back home to New York. I brought two girls, three girls. Damn. It's not good. Nah, no, I've been here for twelve years. All right, um, <laughs> but I only bought the ones that look good. I'm gonna go over there. My boys, are, you know, go crazy on me. I'm like, yeah. nah, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring some good AZ, a slice of pie over there. And my sisters would just listen to the girls I would bring. They go, people talk like that. Like, yeah, like a cheerleader. Yeah. I can't really? like it, but here's you know what I think this is what it is. But I, I grew think up it's in what, Florida. Whatever. Oh, Florida's a mixed bag. That's why, and I think it's that's a mixed where bag. I get Florida is New York on fire. No, hundred percent because there's hella people from New York and New Jersey there. <laughs> so many, and, there, and then you get Floridians who are crazy too. You know and I mean? then New Yorkers so, go to Florida. And then New oh Yorkers my god, so Florida. many, so many. So to me, I'm just like. I think that's why I like it because I grew up around it too. Yeah. And then my family's from New York and Boston, or they grew up in New York and Boston. So I would go up there all the time. Yeah, and visit. you're always going to, yeah. We have, so with me, I, I thought I knew what I liked. I thought I liked that. See, everyone's different. Everyone's, you know, and that's what's so cool. That's why there's somebody for everyone. And because I'll see some of my female friends from high school and I'll be like, yeah, wow, you found a guy. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. And even some of my boys, I'm like, damn, like, she. She softened him a little bit. Like, some of the dudes are a little bit too much. You know what I mean? And then yeah. it takes a girl. And it's funny because, like, I remember my homegirl in high school used to date this big drug dealer, right? Everyone was scared. And I was petrified of this guy. So scared. But I was so happy that I was her friend. He was like, I like you. I'm like, okay, thank you. Yeah. And I remember the way she would talk to him. I was like, he's going to kill you. And he goes, he's soft. And that's the thing about women. They know... You could be the hardest dude in the mm -hmm. world, but she has seen you. Yeah, yeah. she knows your yeah. at the. She knows the real, the, pinnacle, the yeah. deep, boop, 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 and yep. the yeah. button. playing, all that uh -huh. stuff. So that is, a, and that's another thing. I feel like that's something that you should leave for your girl too. But yeah, the women in Arizona. I mean, 
majority whores, but good people and um, just need to listen to Andrew Tate a little bit more often. Oh, and, no. and then that's it. <laughs> I oh want to see how you got reactions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I, but I, I, you're kind of right with the Andrew Tate because I, I feel like that what? is. It's I, an overcorrection no, 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 of what's saying, been happening. When I say Andrew Tate, I mean, like, in terms of the men, a lot of men out here follow Andrew Tate religiously. Like, like he's a, like he's a god. <laughs> he's hilarious. You know, don't, some of the stuff he says is crazy, but it's funny. Yeah, you know, you know I mean? it, it's look. It's I think funny to see I think things get are... lost in the message sometimes, yeah. and sometimes I think his delivery. Is you know, it. you know how somebody put put. Um, I was seeing somebody debate Jesse Lee Peterson. I don't know if you know that he's a black pastor. Uh, he I, almost I, sounds yeah. anti-black sometimes. I know what you're talking about. I know but what you're he, talking about. He talks about like you know unifying the black family, and anyways, he was debating someone. And he goes, I'm a list. He goes, take Trump out of it. Take an individual out of it. I'm just going to list all the good things. Sometimes it's the messenger that messes it up, yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So maybe the the outline of what of what it is needs mm -hmm. to change, but the guy or the person delivering the message <laughs> isn't the best person, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, it doesn't sound good coming from you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? Like if I'm over here speaking on black rights, you know, it's probably like, okay, sounds good what he's saying, but... Why are you talking? Yeah. You know, so I think that matters too. Andrew mm -hmm. Tate is that, I mean, also, I, you know, I toured with Tim Dillon and Tim Dillon um, interviewed him in Romania. Mm. And I was like, what was he like? And he was like, he was like the nicest guy. Yeah. But that's what people say about a lot of people that yeah. people yeah. hate. Yeah. yeah. They meet 100%. him, they go, yeah. It's our, yeah, nice guy in the world. Yeah. Real great I also guy. think some people know what it takes to go viral and say crazy shit yeah no. you know what I people mean? play a character a character on you know their podcast and then real yeah. life sometimes yeah, they're not, they don't even they're believe not that half way. the shit some yeah. people think i'm always drunk they're like yo this guy's always drunk i'm out i went out to go celebrate my videographer's birthday got him bottle service in three different places i didn't drink anything out of coca cola and a zin and i was just chilling and people were like, damn, bro, I can't believe you broke sobriety. I'm like, no, I didn't. I was just chilling. I can have a good time as long as people I like are around yeah. me. Hey, yeah. there's music on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's good looking things to look at. Yeah. I could do that at the zoo. I don't care. I could have fun literally anywhere. Yeah. And that's how I, I don't drink much. And sometimes when you see me out, I'm so sober. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm having a good time because I'm with people that yeah, I enjoy. I'm, I'm, yeah. I never think it's where we're going. It's where it's who I'm with. 100%. It's 100%. never that. Like I always tell people, like, "Oh, that place sucks." I'm like, "Cool, let's." But we're gonna be together. So, right. we're, yeah. like, me. It's the people you're with. The last sure. time I drank was for my boy's birthday. Went to this Japanese spot, and I don't know why. I was like, "Let's just all take off our shirts, and then just start, you know, sake, 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 sake." <laughs> and we did it, and the ladies were like. Keep doing it. And obviously, my friends are in way better shape. So they're like, yeah, you guys do it. You, sweater. And uh, I was just, you know, put a costume on. It's October. But I'm there, and we're having a great time. And the place was empty. Yeah. yeah. You know, the place, there was probably one other table, those girls, and they were just thought we were hilarious, and we weren't even trying to talk to them or nothing. They ended up joining us. What doesn't matter. Yeah. I can have fun literally. Anyway. I think that's important. I, I like a girl who doesn't... You want to talk about first date type of things? I'm not a dinner person. I will never take you to dinner. I'll never take you to Maple Nash. I will never take you to Ocean 44. I'll never take you to Toko Madera. I will never take you to any of these places on the first date. We will go. Eventually. <laughs> Got to get there first. Cam Patterson, a comedian from Austin, Texas, he was getting interviewed. And he said something so dope. He was talking about... You know, they're like, oh, what's the nicest place you've been to? He's like, oh, me and my girl just went to a steakhouse last week, and mm -hmm. it was nice. He's like, I finally have money, and, you know, he's blowing up, Cam yeah. Patterson. He's the dude who, like, keeps rocks in his pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, I'm not retarded, but I like I know exactly. keep rocks in my pocket. <laughs> Funny, yeah. His words. But um, he goes, all right, all right, cool, cool. Well, what if you didn't have a girl? Where would you take a girl on a first date? He's like, McDonald's. And, you know, everyone laughs. Yeah. He's like, no, no, really? He goes, yeah, McDonald's. He's like, the girl was like, why? Why would you take a girl to McDonald's? Right. He goes, because that's where I started. Mm. Mm. That's where I started. Thanks. How are you gonna how are you gonna skip all these steps? You know? And he goes, she goes, but you just brought a girl to the steakhouse last week. She was eating McDonald's with me for years. Yeah. Right. Thanks. That is the difference. I think once you take a girl. I never thought about it, but I, I, I like that. You know what I mean? It don't yeah. gotta be McDonald's. No, 100%. It could be Chick fil A. These are very 
prestigious yeah, yeah, yeah. places. My place would probably be Wendy's because that that's what? where he brought up Wendy's. That's that's where Do you I want to know something. He said he never could afford a meal at Wendy's. He was always doing the four for four. That's all we did. Four for Growing four. up, the four for four. And in the interview, he goes, "Shit, I'm gonna get myself a meal." You know, they got these pretzel bun things, and he was talking about it. And the girl's like, "Yeah," he said, "Go get yourself one." He's like, "Yeah, I got money now." Yeah, you know, and. I think appreciation, right? If a girl gets ready for you, you got to appreciate that, right? There's things we appreciate. But if we skip all these steps in the first date and I'm doing anal, how am I going <laughs> to respect? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's your butthole's token Madeira is basically what I'm saying. Or Ocean 44, however you want to look at it. Whatever it is, that's yeah. that's that should be held for special occasions. If I take you to Maple and Ash every week and then our anniversary, I take you to Maple and Ash. It doesn't, yeah. say, it doesn't hit the same. Hey, we right. always go here. And don't get me wrong. Some people ha have money that they want to I think know. even if you do, you ever see rich people do poor shit just for the shit? They're like, I went to McDonald's. And I'm, I'm a millionaire. It's yeah. like. No, I, they, I mean, I like for, I'll, I'll use uh, Kylie, for example. When she had, I saw an episode on TikTok and she was going through the drive through at McDonald's. You know what I mean? Obviously, she, she pulled it yeah, out because, voice. Yeah. But still, she was just like, I do normal shit. Yeah, yeah it's, look it's, at me. I'm real. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like... But rich people long for that stuff. They, Why do you think they do some kind of... They really do some dumb stuff sometimes. Yeah. Like, look at me. I'm in a dangerous place where I might die. Like, yeah. It's because they have everything, or mm -hmm. at least they think they do. And once you think you have everything, I really feel like you have lost all of it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then you lose this... You ever see people get it all, then lose it all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because they they thought it was gonna be there forever. When it's not. Yeah. Yeah, or and thought, I think or that's. Or thought money was everything. Yeah, or a woman, you got her, so I'm gonna treat you however. Yeah. And then you lose her. Yeah. But you, it was your decision where to keep her or not. Yeah. Yeah. Things were already good. Keep up with the same thing. Right. So, you know, when I tell a girl, let's go get lunch, or let's we should go out to eat, and they go, but where? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Where? Why? Are you interested in the food or in getting to know me? Mm. Are you interested in where you're telling your friends he's taking you or or, or getting to know me? You know, one of the first things when a, they, they say in a text thread with, between men, and be like, hey, I'm talking to this new girl, they send a pic. What do you think? Oh, oh she's, she's, like, she's cute. Yeah. She's hot. Hey, she, for one of the first things guys ask is, is she cool? Because that's kind of the one thing that we care about. Will she mix well with our friends? Yeah. Or is she going to be a problem? Yeah. Right. And, right? I, yeah. and the girl, what do they say? What's he do? Yeah. How much he makes? Yeah. It, I get it. It matters to yeah. some point. I mean, not everyone says how much, but they, they do ask. What does he do? Yeah. Because you don't have to ask how much he makes if he knows what he does. Yeah, you can find out. Oh, he's the CEO of Cold Stone Creamery. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I heard it makes okay. You know, like <laughs> those type of things. But I think once we bring it to light and people go, you know what? Never thought about it like that. You're right. I should go out with that guy to, uh, you know, some, you know, whatever. P Coffee Peter spot. Piper. Coffee's great. College was my coffee thing. Mm. Co co I would say, coffee I would take still a, his shit for like, like coffee's great. <laughs> you wanna know why? It kills her appetite, gives her energy. We're good to go. She may need a shit later, but that's, you know, whatever. She'll take care of it. Oh, I gotta facts. go do my makeup. Yeah, yeah, facts. And that's fine. I'm also in touch with knowing that pe that women are just are actual people too. Yeah. And they're not this imaginative f movie thing that we think and i think if we get to know that that we've been low-key lied to of what it should be you ask any successful marriage they'll go it's hard work yeah sure. i hate this person sometimes yeah. yeah but we're gonna make it work i love them at the same time it's yeah. not like uh that gave me the ick i'm out like yeah. what <laughs> well he drove with two hands i'm out Fair. i see these ick things and i'm like what the hell is wrong yeah, yeah you're gonna we be gonna alone forever for yeah well, man, I'm happy you came on the show, yeah. bro. I appreciate um, it. Where, man. where can yeah. they find you? At, like, what's your ad? Uh, Eric Bernal Comedy on Instagram, Eric B Comedy on X or Twitter, because someone else has Eric Bernal Comedy. I don't know. <laughs> When's your next stand-up show? You I, oh, Bar I will announce it here first. March yeah. 21st at Almost Famous. I got Jay Valentino from Los Angeles, California, coming through, and then on March 29th and March 30th, I am with Justin Silva. Um, if you look him up, 1.1 million followers. We did shows. Uh, a couple months ago, I just dropped in and did a set, and but this time I'll be doing about twenty or thirty minutes on that. So. And then uh, after that, I think I'll be going to Chicago, Austin, 
and Cali, if I'm correct. Sure. But other than that, I'd love to have you guys on my podcast. Yeah, hundred percent, man. I look forward to it. I'm gonna For try sure. and catch a show too as well. Oh yeah, it's good. Absolutely. Talk a lot. I'll sit at the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. I, just, I get clown. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you. The people in my crowd, it's crazy. I looked at my demographics. I have like two percent over sixty-five, and I was like, I, you know, I gotta get earlier shows. But so, anyways, thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks, boss. Thank you. Thank you.